What's up everyone, my name is Olobo, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make one shots from scratch inside of FL Studio. I'm just gonna open up Serum, and then from here, I'm gonna go into Analog, and then go down to Analog BD Sign. So to start out, I'm just playing this C, and I want it to be a little bit higher. So I'm just gonna drag this up. It's a little high, but it might also work out, so let's just try here. Now from here, I'm gonna grab my envelope, I'm gonna bring it down, I'm just gonna mess around with that to see how long I want it to play out. Now from here, once I have my envelope set out and I know how long it's gonna play, I wanna be able to affect that noise a little bit more. So I'm gonna try throwing my envelope one onto this detune underneath oscillator A. I'm gonna mess around with that and see what kind of effects we can get from there. From there, once I've taken my envelope one and put it onto my detune, I messed around with the unison, brought that up twice, and it gives it different like voicings, if you will. So this is how it sounds right now. So after we put our envelope one onto our detune underneath oscillator A, I went over to the sub, turned that on, brought it up two octaves and just brought the volume down. And then from there, I went over to oscillator B and then just added on PWM DS underneath analog. And then from there, I just pitched it up two octaves and this is the sound that we get so far with it. Barely noticeable, but that sub having it on there actually kind of fills it out a little bit more. Now from here, we're gonna go into the effects. And for this, I am gonna use the effects inside of Serum. A Couple of them, just play around with them, see what I can get. And then after that, I'm gonna use my own effects once we get it into the mixer channel. Now that we have that, let's assign it to a mixer channel. Now the routing for all this, I went over my 808 guide. If you haven't seen that yet, go check it out after this video, but I'm gonna show you here. So all you wanna do is you wanna name them, whatever you wanna name them. You can color code them if you want. And then over here, you can take any of these tracks and then put them off to the side. You can do that by hitting right click and then go down to dock two, and then you can do left, middle, or right. And from there, it'll either put them right, left, or in the middle, wherever it is. Since I routed Serum to my channel one, I'm just gonna highlight channel one. I'm gonna come over to my EQ. And then what you do is you right click and then hit route to this track only. From there, my EQ pushes into this effects one. And then from the effects one, it pushes into my compression one, into my compression two, out to my master. If I don't wanna use my compression two, then this just simply passes through here unaffected and gets pushed out to the master. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some taming with my EQ on the actual instrument channel. Just getting rid of any of those really loud, annoying noises, anything I don't want to be in there. I'm going to push things up, listen to it, and we'll just go from there. And we'll keep that there for now. Now from here, I'm just gonna go into my EQ and I'm gonna start adding some things back, but I also may be taking them out. We'll just see how it goes as we play around with it. A lot of the time when you start boosting, all the time when you start boosting, those frequencies get brought back up. And if you took something out because it was annoying and if you don't do it right, it could push those potentially harsher frequencies back up to the front, which we don't want. Now I'm starting to get a lot of harsh frequencies at the top. So what I'm going to do is use this filter Then I'm going to hit split. So it filters it before it pushes through the EQ. And I may have to redo some things down here, but if that's the case, that's okay. It's going to help me tame it a little bit more. Now I'm going to go in, I'm going to grab a Puitac EQ.
Once I have all my EQs added, I move on to the second step, which if you look down here, gets routed into my effects one. So all you do is you click on your effects one and then you right click here and hit route to this track only. Now, if you didn't know how to set up a bus until you watched this video, let me know that down in the comments below. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. First thing for my effect, just based off of listening to the sound we have, I kind of want to bring it out, make it a little brighter. So I'm going to add some either saturation or some type of coloring stuff like RC20, something like that. But we'll just go through it and see what we get. After I've added the RC20, next thing I'm going to do is bring in some delay. After I got the delay, let's bring in some reverb. So for the reverb, these are the settings. You can go ahead and copy these. But I brought my dry down a little bit more, brought my wet up, and then just controlled it on this little post knob right here. And then I also separated it slightly to the left. Now from here, we're gonna go into our compression one. Double click that, make that go away. We're gonna go into our compression one and I'm gonna look for a compressor to use. From here, we're gonna record it inside of Edison. We're just gonna open up Edison on the master. We're gonna hit record and then we're just gonna play it out. So from here, what I want to do is I want to bring this, I want to cut all this off. So you can do that by left clicking, dragging over this red, and then hitting this button here. And that's just going to take away the beginning for you. After we do all that, we bring it back in, put it on our channel rack, and this is what we have. From there, I threw on an F minor scale, and I'm just going to cook up something small to show you guys what you can do with your own one shots. And after we have our drums played out, this is what we get for the beat. And that's how simple it can be to take something like Serum, affect it yourself, and then come up with some cool little variations based off of one sound. All right, that's gonna be all for this video. If you did enjoy this, please give me a like and drop a comment down below tell me what you would like to learn next. And if you haven't yet, please smack that subscribe button and hit the bell so you'll be notified every time I put out a new video. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Alobo and I'll see you in the next one.